Welcome to the channel and welcome to this unboxing video. Today we are unboxing the Chaos Knights Army Set and the Imperial Knights Knight Dominus, both of which GW has very kindly sent me free of charge for your reviewing and unboxing pleasure. Right, where to start, where to start, where to start. I'm going to build up to the Chaos Knight set. I'm going to start with the Knight Dominus. Okay, this is an existing kit. Uh, so I don't know that anything terribly new has happened with this, but let's get into it. Oh, it's got a tray in it. Excellent for spraying models and shifting stuff about with. Okay, so instructions, sprues, oh, transfers. Shiny transfers, House Tyrannis, good. That's what I like to see, being a House Tyrannis player. Uh, what else do we have? Big base, oval, ovoid base. Uh, then what do we have on the sprues? So, this looks like a big, uh, let me zoom in a little bit. Yeah, a big carapace jobby with lots of little rivets, uh, lots of good grooves for ink to, um, run into. Excellent. I like my speedy painting. Vents and stuff. Oh, faceplate, faceplate, faceplate. With, uh, what do we have? Yep, looking all knightly and grilly. Uh, looks like two halves of a big plasma weapon. They go together. And presumably they are vents and coils, as are these bits, I assume. A couple of power coils for the back. I know the regular knights have got one of those, but that's because this is a, a, big, uh, a big knight. We said knighty. Then this looks like a battle cannon of some sort. No, not a battle cannon. It's the other arm. It's whatever is in that arm. So it looks like we've got two separate parts of a barrel, and then the oh, let's zoom out a little bit more. And then we've got the um, what's the bit before a barrel? The non-barrel, and that's. Presumably some of the waist gimbal for it to rotate. I wonder if the legs are the same on uh, um Come on, brain. Uh, the same as a regular knight. Oh that's interesting. Okay, so the next sprue also has the carapace on. Are the carapaces different for the different knights? Yes, they are. There's definitely a difference there. There's a sort of cut outy bit. Let's zoom in a little bit. There's a cut outy bit on this one, and there's not on this one. So they are at least in some way different. This one's got some kind of power field generatory thing at the front, and this has got them at the back. Can you do both kits out of this? Or is it a magnetization job if you want to do that? Different faceplate. Also quite nightly. Bigger slit on the eyes. Uh, this one's quite cool. This gun. I don't know which weapon this is part of. Um, my guess would be the big flamey thing. But it's got sort of chain on the rails. Like it, it's being repositioned. Not by a, a servo motor or articulation around a board joint. It's just like crank, 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 crank for the um, thing to get in place. That looks like the nose of a harpoon. Lots of spiky goodness there. Lots of vents and grills. Again, all these parts, none of them are too um, flat. They'll all paint up nicely. I am off, always, of course, biased. I do my, my inking and dry brushing, so I, I always look with that in mind when I'm looking at the models. Okay, two sprues that look pretty similar. So these look like two pairs of legs. But there's also, so are these sprues the same? Yes, they've got melted guns, they've got these two missiles, they've got the cannon pieces. So you can see what I was doing, could you? Oh! Right, 
this bit you can't see. Notice off, you can't see over here. Um, rail, power cables, foot, cannon barrels, all that good stuff. The reason I am hesitating a little bit, and obviously you've got some armor plates on here and the big shoulder plates, but I am genuinely sat wondering whether or not there are enough pieces here to actually do both knights. I mean, this is obviously a set of legs and some shoulder pieces, but are there enough bits to build an entire torso out of each of these to sit atop the legs? Could you do both knights? I guess the instructions are going to tell us whether or not you could do both knights. Speaking of which, oh, this is a this is a meaty build book. Okay, so looking at the instructions, the bit that so obviously there's two different builds: the Knight Castle and the Knight Valiant, and they have different weapons, um, some different plateage, and and so on. Um, there's a lot of common stuff on here, though. But the differences are underneath the plates. But yet, both sprues have got a big top plate on them. Hmm. I don't know. I mean, you can even see on here, these they've both got a big top plate. Huh. All right, so the Knight Castle are steps 1 to 9, 10 to 11 for the other, so... Okay, we've got leg builds. We've this, so these joints are uh, they're not fixed. It's not monopose. You can pivot around these uh, sort of ball and socket joints to get the foot placing to be how you want it. It would appear. Um, you've also got to make sure you get these leg pieces the right way around. I struggle with these on my on previous nights I've built. I haven't built this class of knight, but I have made mistakes on that. I've been very frustrated with trying to take things back apart or rescue the posture with judicious positioning of gun barrels and things to make it look like he's meant to lean in that direction. Okay, so two legs built. Central body pivoty thing. No real options here. Some options on the groin plate. Looks like there are three options. There's one that's clearly an admet. Well, it's got an admet symbol on it. Um, whether it's an admet specific one, don't know. Uh, then we've got the traditional do not glue pieces so you can move the head around. I'll be honest, I don't, I haven't seen a huge amount of value in having movable heads on the knights um, when I've used mine. And the nature of these pieces, these pieces are so small. It's very, very difficult. Let me zoom in. It's very difficult to only get the glue on the side. Is that going to zoom for us? Let me if I encourage it. It's very, so you can see here, it's sort of like two prongs on the outside and then a recess in the middle. It's very difficult to get the glue to only stick on those prongs and not then flow into this piece on the head. Uh, okay, so these melt guns are also movie doable. And the big carapace is C27. Okay. What's it trying to show here? What's that gap there it's trying to illustrate? I don't know. Melter guns on the carapace. Interesting. Then the big guns. Again, no real variation in the build. Lots of do not glue pieces to enable articulation. Uh, which is fine if the articulation is tight, but if the if it's not, the gun just flops and looks really bad. Okay, so I wonder if there are enough pieces. So hang on. The connection joints for the guns are from 
Sprue A. Ah, right, okay. And Sprue A is the generic... Oh, yeah, A is the generic leg sprue. So if you want to articulate the art, if you want to have both weapon options, whilst you have got both sets of guns, you're going to have to do something about magnetising it or another way connecting it to this sort of shoulder gimbal thing. Okay, and then the weapons on top are just sort of drop on, as are these shot. Now these require gluing in. And that just drops onto there and the leg plates go on. Okay, so that is that one built. Now the Night Valiant, how is this different? These look identical to me. I can't see where step on the legs, are they really differing? Now, I mean, just flicking backwards and forwards this is my, my, my scientific method. I can't see any differences on these two pages. So, they're in twice. Wonder why? Okay, different carapace on top. B35. I wonder why the difference. Everything else looks very similar. Melter guns in there as well. Obviously, you're building different weapons. You've got the harpoon and the flamey thing. I do like the flamey thing. Uh, you've got different combinations of weapons on the top. I can't recall off the top of my head if that's an option in the book, whether you can say, oh, I'm going to have two of the missiles and one of the cannons on either night, or actually whether it's predetermined for the two different variants, which combination you have. There we go. So that is... The Knight Dominus. Dominus? Dominus. The Knight Dominus. I do have um, an Imperial Knight's army, but I've only got two knights painted. I will at some point... This will go on the list now. I'll add this as a third. I've also got some armages I haven't got painted. But we shall see. Time is a thing. But da -da -da, the main event... I say. Well, not to disparage the Knight Dominus, but we have seen that before. Chaos Knight's army set. Whoop! So I have, of course, had this open before to get the Codex out. I've done a separate review of the Codex. That will already be available on the channel when you're watching this video. So, other than going, ooh, shiny, so pretty, not doing anything with that. Right. The instructions. You get three knights in here. A big one and two little ones. What else do we get in the books? We've got all the sprues in the box even. We've got all the sprues. Got a nice piece of cover art on one of these sticky oni thingies. Uh, it's nice, very, very nicely carving an Imperial Dreadnought in half. It's good, that's festive. Um, big night transfer sheet. Unfortunately, for me, it doesn't have any House Commentis symbols on here. I am still reduced to using my own methods to get the Commentis symbol onto the knights. There's some really cool, I mean, the, the runes and the bits of script, they are very cool. They are very cool. Okay. Uh, bases. Base for the big knight. And these. Oops. Cards. Now, what I do want to see. Eh. Eh. Now, there's a set of rules in the uh, Chaos Knights book which have per turn things. Which, um, oh, what are they even called? They build up each turn, and I wanted to see if they were in here. Core stratagems, psychic powers. Um, stratagem, stratagem, stratagem. They're not here, are they? Stratagem, stratagem, stratagem. No, oh, that's frustrating. I like... So they've got a set of abilities, 
that are cumulative each turn. You basically pick from a list and it lasts for the rest of the game. And there's like a dozen of them. Uh, I was hoping they were going to be on the cards. So you could you could pick out the one you're using and have it in front of you rather than having your first book. But alas, no. Right then. But not to worry about that. Let's have a look at all the... the I don't know where to start. Let me see if I can work out which ones are for the big night. Okay. These all are the big knights, I think. Then these are the war dogs. Let's start with the war dogs. Okay, these sprues look identical. This is the carapace. Uh, we've got some chains. We've got an eight-pointed chain on there. That's very cool. Sort of like the eight-pointed star. A um, little bit of mute. Let me zoom in a bit, shall we? Little bit of mutation. Presumably there's a yeah spike that can come out of there, which is cool. The vents have got that sort of chaos ostentation around the top, which is nice. I know because my my existing warhound war dogs, I had to do use basic armages and just raid my my chaos bits box to try and chaos them up a bit. But it's nice to me like this bit here. This plate's got sort of fangs built into it, which is cool. So it's just got that sort of innate chaosy feel to it. There's two of those. Yeah, it looks like claw pieces, the power pack. Still got the Mechanicus symbol on the power pack. I'm surprised that hasn't been replaced with an eight pointed something. Maybe it's an oversight. Right. So these look. Whoa! <laughs> zoomy, zoomy. Uh, these two sprues look the same. So presumably one Warhound gets you these three sprues. I don't know if they're going to sell them singly. I would assume so. Three sprues in a box. Yeah, I'd imagine so. I'd hope so. But who knows? Right, what we got here? So we've got the sort of thermal spear. I don't know if that's what it's still called. And the, and the Reaper blade. But again, we've got some nice spikage on the Reaper blade. And a little bit more of that Chaos Ostentation. Not a huge amount, though. A big rope of chains. Some kind of choppy blades. The head options are cool. They've all, they're all sort of like animal skull type options. Very growly. And even the faceplate has got a sort of real um, sort of sinister demonic -y type feel to it and even the one that's a little bit more uh, mundane has still got chains and things hanging off it which is cool uh, oh a little baby eagle vulture thing so i know the big one's got a vulture on it but i didn't know there was a baby eagle on baby vulture on here so baby vulture do 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 uh, oh, another faceplate with tusks. I like that. <coughs> That's cool. I wonder where the vulture goes. I'm sure the instructions will say. Well, that be, should be under the optional pieces. Yeah. And they're the same. Okay. Back in the box for use. Right, what have we got on this bad boy? There's so many pieces. Right, now, this, I'm assuming that some of this is based on the night, I want to say Desecrator. Ah, uh, yeah, I think it is. These look, these do feel familiar. We've got, um, we've got chains across the, We've got chains and skulls across the shield. We've got sort of chaos spikes and bubbles and things growing into the shoulder plates and the top plates. Spikes bursting through. Uh, again, mechanicum symbol on the power pack. Maybe that's just something that they never change. I wonder why. I wonder if there's any significance to always keeping that on there. Like there's always some element of purity of the machine spirit fighting to retain itself. Meh. Yeah. 
Probably not. Uh, it's got the um, the backwards Satya tire style legs. These look like the same face plates that the Desecrator has to offer. I keep saying Desecrator. I think it's the, that's the right one. Uh, again, leg plates with spikes. Whole bunch of chains. Yeah, and these are these are the little spike pillars that go into the top of the carapace that can that you link the chains across. And a big sort of a tattered banner loincloth type thing. Pretty cool. And sort of cruel claws. Nice. And obviously with this being part of the decimator sprue, you get the sword and the turbo laser. I want to say turbo laser. I think there's another Mechanicum symbol on a power pack. I wonder if that's just because they reuse the moulds of those parts of the sprues in the process of building a new one just sort of like a like a cut and paste type thing equivalent or whether there's a significance to that i suspect it is the former so those are the ones that form that basic knight then you've got then this looks like an add-on sprue so yes you've got the big plasma coil You've got an alternate shield with a, um, a, a tattered banner across it. Oh, goodness me. We've got uh, some chains on top of that top plate. That's really cool. The pieces of these birds, I want to say vultures. But for some reason, crow keeps on coming into my head. Um, the lashes of this close combat weapon, they are some vicious spikes. I approve. It is approved by me. Uh, another faceplate option. Two faceplate options. That's a sort of really withering, chaos riven face corner, like it's sort of um, a sort of melting into a skull, like the the face of a demon's gradually bursting through it. Another icon, presumably for the top plate. Yeah, there's a little dint on the back of that. So that'll slot in somewhere. Eight pointed star with uh, some kind of goat's head on it. This looks like a piece of um, a piece of random for um, like a hook, but with chaosy pointy stars on it. It's two of them. So there's possibly somewhere on the model where they have sort of like um, stowage loops or towing or handling loops on the imperial things, just like a sort of loop of metal written. But the they've stylized those. To make them chaosy, which I like. That's cool. And a fairly normal faceplate, that one. Maybe that has other bit. Yes, it looks like there's bits that attach to that. Oh, I think these tusks attach to it. I think that's one of the options. I think it gets. You can make that tusky. I want to know what this is, though. That's sort of. Maybe that's the back of the head with tusks growing out sideways, horns growing sideways. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Instructions, destruction, destructions. Right, so the war dogs have the different variant builds. There's the two close combat weapons, the two shooty weapons, and I think there's a variant that lets you have uh, a cross combination. Yeah, there you go. Carnivore, too punchy. Brigand, too shooty. Stalker, shooty punchy. The Abominant doesn't seem to have any... Well, doesn't have any variations. It's got what it's got. Okay, so we're on the Abominant. And we have a leg... But, oh, it's a tail! Oh, that is so cool! Zoom, 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 zoom. You know, I said, I wonder what this horn thing is. It's a tail. It's like a mace tail. I did not see that before. I did... Oh... And it's so cool, the wind's just blown the door shut. Wow. Oh, like a card effect with a spiked tail. <laughs> oh, must build. Must, does it have root? Yes, it does. I remember having a mace weapon when I reviewed it. I remember looking at the model thinking, where's the mace? It's its tail. <laughs> um, yeah, no build options here. Legs going together. Same thing with the head, the put it together, but don't glue this bit to make it articulate. Uh, heavy stubber option, no melting gun option that a lot of the Imperial counterparts have. 
but that's okay. Yeah, different face options. One of them is the one with the massive horns. So you've got a fairly normal one. It's a little bit spiky. Massive horns or melted ghost face. Uh, yep, yeah, and these, those circle bits I was just talking about, they clip onto the back on that part of an Imperial Knight chassis. They're just sort of normal loops. Yes, I'm sure they must have some process for reusing elements from different sprues. I imagine when they when they make the sprues, every component on a different sprue has an object in the software and they can drag and drop them together and say, right, this one's going to go in here. And yeah, I imagine that's the case. So they have just not designed those pieces that have got the, um, the cog on them. Okay, then we've got this weapon build. It looks so sinister. It's just sort of hanging there. Like it's about to spring into life and slice things to pieces. And then we have all the optional, all these birds. You could put like five, one, two, three, four, five. Ah, no, no. So the birds are growing, are, are perching on branches and it's actually got branches growing out the carapace. Ha! Ah. That's cool. Wow. I like that. Then we, not you. Then we're on to the war dogs. Uh, ah, okay. So it looks like when you build these legs, each leg can be used on either side of the model. You've got a leaning back leg and a leaning... F and a, you've, got, you've got a rear leg and a fore leg and you can combine them in either way to have it left foot forward, right foot forward. And then presumably, yes, yes, you have. Look, there are panels here that then go onto the side that's exposed so that you sort of choose which around. That's very clever. I like that. I don't know, if, I can't remember, it's been a long time since I've built my armages. I can't remember if they do that, but very clever. And the feet have got this sort of claw thing going on. Clank, clank, clank. Yes. Then this is all fairly standard. A few different um, sort of groin plates. The carapace is pretty samey. Then you've got your variants with the different weapons being on different sides on different arms so you've then got the chain reaper uh the reaper chainsaw sorry and how that goes together or the claw are they both left hand weapons no then are they so it looks like you can configure yes Yes, the <laughs> big R and L, which I entirely missed. There's a how to configure it for the right hand, how to configure it for the left hand. Presumably, it's just a case of which way around you spin the arm attachment when you put it on. And that's also true of the um, the claw variant. Presumably, there's nothing that dictates that you must have this gun on the side of the model and gives you the variation. So again, here with the spear, how to construct the spear, right variant, left variant. The Gatling gun, right variant, left variant. And then if you're doing the carnivore, put these two on. If you're doing the brigand, these two. The stalker, these two. Then options for the weapon pod on top. So these have got carapace weapons, which is nice. Uh, do the armages have carapace weapons? Yes, the armages do have carapace weapons. So they've got a missile and a stubber variant. A couple of different face options. Ah right, so you've either got the, the you've got two different options for the uh the skull dog face and you've got three options for a more regular armager style face. Cool. And then we've got tusks and birdie and spikes to decorate. Awesome! It's so cool. <laughs> Now, do I do them as a different lance, or do I do them? Do I add to House Commentis? <sighs> the agony of choice. The agony of choice is real. 
as I'm, as I'm packing away. But you probably don't need to see me packing away. So I hope you've enjoyed this unboxing video. I certainly have. Um, a big shout out to uh, my channel members and supporters for your ongoing support. You guys are awesome. Uh, if you want to support me, best way to do it is channel memberships. You can follow the link in the description below or check out my homepage on YouTube. There's various perks for being channel members, like access to exclusive videos, hobby discord, all that. Uh, if you shop at Element Games, you can support me by using my um, affiliate code. If you're about to rush out and buy loads of Chaos Knights from Element Games, if you click on my affiliate link, they know you came from me and they give me commission. Mm, lovely, lovely commission. There's also a code in there, uh, PAU090, that's my code, which means that uh, if you use that, you get extra crystals, and I get some crystals too, which is super nice. And on that happy note, uh, take care everyone, and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.